in this video i'm going to be showing you how to add black bars or letter boxes to your videos for a more cinematic look using adobe premiere pro welcome back to the channel my name is cjam and here we are already in adobe premiere pro with the clip that we're going to be adding the black bars to to make it look more cinematic but first you have to know why people do this why people use this technique for the cinematic look. Now the 235 aspect ratio that is used in movies or music videos to get that to fit in our standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio we have to shrink it down and when you shrink it down you get black bars on the top and on the bottom because it is so wide but they're not really black bars it's just areas on the top and bottom of the frame that there is no video and those empty areas are usually 12% on the top of the frame and 12% on the bottom of the frame and obviously if you use a different cinema aspect ratio the sizes of the black bars on the top and bottom will be different so with all that in mind let's go ahead and do it to our video that we have here in premiere pro so in premiere pro we have work clip and i'm going to go to my project window here my project tab and right click and click new item and i'm going to go ahead and create an adjustment layer right this is one method that you can use to create the black bars so we have our adjustment layer here in my project project tab I'm going to click and drag it down on top of my video that I have here let me just extend it like so to the full length of the video and what I'm going to be doing is going to my effects tab looking for the crop effect and I'm going to drag it onto my adjustment layer and remember earlier I said that when you squish a 235 cinematic aspect ratio down into a 16 by 9 you know YouTube aspect ratio it's 12% on the top and bottom, right? Because it's so wide. So I'm gonna to go to the top over here in my crop effect, add 12%, and I'm gonna to go to the bottom here and add 12%. And there you are. That's the first method to add letter boxes or black bars to your videos. It's that simple. Now, if I were to go ahead and play this video, you'd see that's the finished product. This is the before, this is the after. Now, if you were to go to the motion it controls over here on your video clip, I selected my video track here, the performance track. And if you were to go to position and move your clip down, you'd have more room to work with because all of this area right here is space that you can move your clip up and down, right? So that's the first way of doing it. The second way of doing it is doing this same method with the 12% on top and 12% on the bottom in Photoshop and saving it as a PNG and you can just slap that onto your clip here in Premiere Pro. Now over here in my project tab, I'm just gonna go ahead and find the letterbox that I made in Photoshop and just click and oops, just click and drag it in like so. And let me just go ahead and extend it and you can see it's already there. It's registering just like an image if I were to bring it in to Premiere Pro, right? And all I have to do is play and you'll see it's already there i don't have to do nothing else so that's two ways to create letter boxes or black bars using adobe premiere pro and here's what i'm gonna do this letter box that i created in photoshop here this one right here i'm gonna let you guys download it for free all you have to do is click the first link in this video's description so did you know how to create black bars or letter boxes using adobe premiere pro before let me know in the comments and also have you ever noticed these black bars when you're watching your favorite music videos or movies and tv shows let me know in the comments below and hey if you liked this tutorial and you want to see more premiere pro tutorials on my channel click right at the screen to check out this tutorial right now and i will see you guys in the next one